What's going on guys, it's your boy Big Hero Chris back at you with another one. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, ring the notification bell, hit me up on Twitter, TikTok, community posts, wherever. It doesn't matter, just talk to me, you know? I'm a very nice guy, I'm very pleasant, engaging, so you know, hit me up man, hit, hit your boy up sometimes. So, <clears throat> this weekend we have WWE Elimination Chamber coming to you from Montreal, Quebec, Canada home of one Sami Zayn, and this is gonna be a big homecoming for the former honorary Oos, the former locker room leader, Big Sammy, Big Sammy style. And um, the rest of the card looks pretty dope, man. It looks like a pretty solid show. It was only five matches on the card, but you know, hey man, that's that's not bad. I'm not mad at that at all. You know, get your Elimination Chambers matches out the way, get your regular matches out the way. You know what I'm saying? So without any further ado, man, let's just get into these predictions. Of course, let me know your predictions in the comment section below. Let me know some of the matches you're excited for. Let me know some of your picks. With that being said, let's get into my picks. And we're gonna kick it off with a mixed tag match. We have Edge and Beth Phoenix taking on the team of Finn Balor and Rhea Mommy Ripley. Now, I mean, Honestly, uh, this this feud has been going on for like a year now. Like this, the whole Judgment Day started with um at WrestleMania last year, I believe, and then I mean it's had its highs and its lows. I mean it's gotten a whole lot better since Edge wasn't the leader anymore, which sucks because I like Edge. I like the, um the role Edge played as the leader of the Judgment Day, but I feel like once Finn Balor took over, it just went to another level, and then it just got even better once Triple H took over the booking. Um, as far as this match goes, um, it should be all right. Um, Rhea Ripley is going to face Charlotte at WrestleMania, so I imagine you got to make Mommy look strong going into her match against the Queen. So I'm gonna make a bold prediction. I'm gonna say the Judgment Day wins. I think Rhea Ripley pins Beth Phoenix. Looks strong as hell, you know, going into her match against Charlotte. So you know, hey man. Hopefully we'll have a new SmackDown Women's Champion. And that's interesting because what does that mean for the Judgment Day? Does that mean that Rhea goes to SmackDown? Or does that mean all of Judgment Day goes, goes to SmackDown? Um, we'll see. We'll see what's going on. So yeah, man. The next match we have is Brock Lesnar taking on Bobby. Bobby who? Bobby Lashley, that is. And honestly, I was expecting this match to happen at WrestleMania. So... When this match was proposed a couple of weeks ago and Brock said Elimination Chamber, I was like, huh? Okay. Um, yeah, cool. And then this past week on um, Monday Night Raw, you kind of established Bobby Lashley as more of a heel. So, I mean, I guess it gives us more of a person to cheer for, more of a person to boo for. I mean, I don't know. And they keep teasing the Hurt Business. So maybe the Hurt Business runs interference Maybe they officially become official this Saturday and they join Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley gives in and says, you know what? I need the Hurt Business. The Hurt Business needs me. We need to get back together, especially during Black History Month and just create black excellence all throughout the WWE, the World Wrestling Entertainment Federation. And maybe they, um, the Hurt Business ends up costing Brock Lesnar the match. And then for some reason, we get another match at WrestleMania. I don't know, but I think that Bobby Lashley is going to beat Brock Lesnar with help from the Hurt Business, the returning Hurt Business, and everybody will be happy, we will all go hooray, and all will be right with the world. All right, so now we got the first of the um, two Elimination Chamber matches. This one is for a shot at Bianca Belair at WrestleMania. Whoever wins this match will go on to face Bianca Belair at WrestleMania. And the, people invo the women involved are Asuka, Liv Morgan, Nikki Cross, Raquel Rodriguez, Natalia, question mark, and Carmella. <laughs> so, off rip, I already know two people who are not winning. I do not see, in respect to Carmella and Natalia, but I don't see them winning this Elimination Chamber match. I do not see them going on to WrestleMania. I do not see them pointing at the sign and facing Bianca Belair at WrestleMania in the main event, one of the main events. I don't see that happening. 
Nikki Cross, no, <laughs> not everyone. So that leaves us with three women. It leaves us with, with um, Raquel Rodriguez, Liv Morgan, and Asuka. Now, out of all these three, I see Asuka winning it. I see the um, WWE kind of starting to push Raquel a little bit more. So maybe one, and maybe if not next year, the year after that, she'll be in the top spot. Maybe she'll be main eventing WrestleManias and whatnot. But as of this year, as of this moment, as of this match, I'm picking Asuka. Now, I wouldn't be mad if Liv Morgan somehow pulled it off, but I see the match leaning more in Asuka's favor. And then she, she goes on to face Bianca Belair. I mean, I would not be mad at that match at all. That would be a pretty dope match, Asuka versus Bianca Belair. And now we have for the United States Championship, um, the Men's Elimination Chamber match, you have Damian Priest of the Judgment Day, Bronson Reed, Johnny Gargano, Montez Ford, Seth freaking Rollins, and the champion, Austin Theory. And like I said, this is for the um, WWE United States Championship. Now, same same thing with this one. I have three people in mind who I think could win. And of course, Austin Theory could retain, but I'm going to get to him in a little bit later. I could see Seth Rollins winning because I feel like he needs a win. But then again, it's looking like it's going to be Seth Rollins versus Logan Paul at WrestleMania. And does that really need to have the um, United States Championship involved? Uh, I don't think so. So I guess that knocks it down to two people. Now you have Montez Ford, who is a star in the making. Like everyone loves Montez Ford. This dude is an amazing athlete, tremendous amount of charisma. He's just hype. He has the hottest wife in life right now, the hottest woman in the WWE wearing his chain and Bianca Belair. So this dude is automatically winning in life. And it would be pretty cool to see Montez Ford with some singles go around his waist. And that might lead to a little bit of tension in the, uh, the Street Profits. Now this is something, a breakup between the Street Profits is something that they've been teasing for a while now. But I feel like this will be a good jumping off point to, you know, that eventual breakup. You know, you never know. And then of course this leaves the champion, Austin Theory. Um, I mean, I can see Austin Theory walking out as still the United States champion. Especially after the last time he was in the Elimination Chamber, he got F5 to his doom by Brock Lesnar. So I can see WWE saying, you know what, man, you, you got a kid. You're still the champion. And word, of the sh word on the street is he could be facing John Cena. And that could be an interesting way to get to him versus John Cena because you're starting to see, hear Austin Theory say things like the champ is here. So maybe he can bring back the open challenge, maybe. And then one day he he, beat, he goes to everybody and then he makes a, another open challenge and then John Cena comes out and then he challenges Austin Theory to a match at WrestleMania. So you never know, man. The possibilities are pretty, pretty solid. So as far as making a prediction, I'm going to lean towards Austin Theory as still being your United States champion because, you know, a town down. All right, so that leaves us with the main event, man. The hometown boy, Sami Zayn, taking on the tribal chief. Can Sami Zayn overcome the odds? Can Sami Zayn do what Brock Lesnar couldn't do? Can Sami Zayn do what John Cena couldn't do? Can Sami Zayn do what Drew McIntyre couldn't do? And that was beat Roman Reigns for the WWE Universal Undisputed Championship. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. He's not going to beat Roman Reigns. The match will be good. And I feel like this will be a great way for... A, awesome way of, of um, Roman Reigns getting heat. Because he's beating up Sami Zayn in front of his friends and family and all his fans in Canada. Yeah, you know how much Canada feels about their own, you know what I'm saying? So, this is just a great way to get heat on Roman Reigns. Now, there's been a lot of people speculating online as far as the Usos involvement. Now, last time I checked, I think Jimmy can't get into the Canada because of his, you know, his issues. I don't know if that means Jay can't get involved either. I feel like Jay should be good because you've heard, I've seen people saying that, oh, Jay is going to cause Sammy and he's going to rejoin the bloodline. And I'm like, I, I don't know. Now, would I be surprised if that happened? Nah, because that makes sense. But what, what would be the point of all that? Like... You could have just had him stay with the bloodline from jump. Like it did make the um, Royal Rumble angle a little bit, uh, a whole hell of a lot more interesting. But to me, it kind of dimin diminishes 
that moment if you just have Jay come back to the bloodline. Now, if oh, if Jay does end up costing Sammy the title and then he joins back up with the bloodline, you can definitely have tension between him and Roman. And then you can have something between them two because I feel like there's still a whole lot of unresolved issues between Roman Reigns and Jay Uso. And I'm gonna get into that in, in a later video, I feel. But yeah, man. Uh, I mean, it could work. I mean, they haven't let me down with this bloodline storyline yet. So, hell, I'm going I'm to just follow the leader and say Jey Uso costs Sami Zayn the title. And then this sets up between, uh, sets up a match for um, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn to take on the Usos for the tag team titles. Because that's what everyone else was saying. So, I might as well say it too. And then you can have like the Uso or um, at least the Bloodline beating up Sami Zayn the same way they beat up Kevin Owens. But this time you have Kevin Owens come and make the save. And he can, he's from Montreal as well. So he gets a huge pop. Save Sami Zayn. They hug it out. And then they declare war on the Bloodline. So there you have it. There's that set up for that WrestleMania match. And then you have Roman going and face Cody Rhodes. And then it's going to be a hellified WrestleMania season because this is the most excited I've been. Not only for an Elimination Chamber in a long time, but this is the most excited I've been for WrestleMania in a long time. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Those are my Elimination Chamber predictions. What did you think? What, what do you think is going to happen? Let me know in the comment section below. Let me know your predictions. Let me know how excited you are for Elimination Chamber. Do you... Are you one of the people that think Sami Zayn could possibly do it? Do you think that this could possibly lead to a triple threat match between Sami, Cody, and Roman? Let me know in the comment section below. Of course, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. You guys take care. Be easy. I'm out. Peace.